for your winner, the Leg Lock Monster, J.C. Lamas. So Lamas gets his record above 500 here. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Beyond measure. I'm going to show you how great I am. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. I'm going to show you how great I am. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. I'm going to show you how great I am. This kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm going to show you how great I am. I have rousted with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. I'm going to show you how great I am. All of you chumps are going to bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, and ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Now, if you know what you're worth, then you want to get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hit and not point your fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. You're better than that. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the ideas, the dreams, the abilities, the talents given to you by life. And you, for whatever reason, you never acted on those ideas. You never pursued that dream. You never used those talents. We never saw your leadership. You never used your voice. You never wrote that book. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying, we came to you and only you could have given us life. Now we must die with you forever. The question is, if you die today, what ideas? What dreams? What abilities? What talents? What gifts? We die with you. You know, there's no one else to look to expect that they'll pull up the slack. This is this is your game. Win this shit, come on. Get it for him.
didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. Dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy. You have to think outside the box. That's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. I remember that after I was finished with my bodybuilding career, I wanted to get into acting. I wanted to be a, a star in films. Everyone had the same mind that it can't be done. Just look at your body, you have this huge, monstrous body, it's overly developed, that doesn't fit into the movies. But, uh, you know, I didn't listen to all this, this were their rules. I was convinced I could do it. And then I got the big break in Conan the Bavaria. Trust yourself no matter how, what anyone else thinks. And there the director said, if we wouldn't have Schwarzenegger, we would have to build one. Then when I did Terminator, I'll be back. One of the most famous lines in a, a movie history, all because of my crazy accent. It just shows you never listen that you can't do something. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. Don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear or failure, or you would never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it's the right thing to do. Success will come, so don't be afraid to fail. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it's never been done before? So pay no attention to the people who say it can't be done. If I would have listened to the naysayers, I would still be in the Austrian Alps yodeling. I would never have come to America. I always listened to myself and said, yes, you can. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. Work your butt off. I always believe leaving no stone unturned. No pain, no gain. When you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. ladder of success with your hands in the pocket. 6 a.m. and your hand can't make it to the alarm clock before the voices in your head start telling you that it's too early, too dark, and too cold to get out of bed. Aching muscles lie still in rebellion, pretending not to hear your brain commanding them to move. A legion of voices are shouting their unanimous permission for you to hit the snooze button and go back to dreamland. But you didn't ask their opinion. The voice you've chosen to listen to is one of defiance. A voice that says there was a reason you set that alarm in the first place. So sit up, put your feet on the floor, and don't look back because we've got work to do. Welcome to the grind. For what is each day but a series of conflicts between the right way and the easy way? 10,000 streams fan out like a river delta before you, each one promising the path of least resistance. Thing is, you're headed upstream. And when you make that choice, when you decide to turn your back on what's comfortable and safe and what some would call common sense, well, that's day one. From there, it only gets tougher. So just make sure this is something you want because the easy way out will always be there, ready to wash you away. All you have to do is pick up your feet. But you aren't going to, are you? With each step comes the decision to take another. You're on your way now, but this is no time to dwell on how far you've come. 
You're in a fight against an opponent you can't see, but oh, you can feel him on your heels, can't you? Feel him breathing down your neck. You know what that is? That's you. Your fears, your doubts, and insecurities all lined up like a firing squad, ready to shoot you out of the sky. But don't lose heart. While they're not easily defeated, they are far from invincible. Remember, this is the grind. The battle royale between you and your mind, your body, and the devil on your shoulder is telling you that this is just a game. This is just a waste of time. Your opponents are stronger than you. Drown out the voice of uncertainty with the sound of your own heartbeat. Burn away your self-doubt with a fire lit beneath you. Remember what we're fighting for and never forget that momentum is a cruel mistress. She can turn out a dime or the smallest mistake. She is ever searching for the weak place in your armor, that one tiny thing you forgot to prepare for. So as long as the devil is hiding the details, the question remains, is that all you got? Are you sure? And when the answer is yes, when you've done all you can to prepare yourself for battle, then it's time to go forth and boldly face your enemy, the enemy within. Only now you must take that fight into the open, into hostile territory. You're a lion in a field of lions, all hunting the same elusive prey with a desperate starvation that says victory is the only thing that can keep you alive. So believe that voice that says you can run a little faster and you can throw a little harder and that for you, the laws of physics are merely a suggestion. Luck is the last dying wish of those who want to believe that winning can happen by accident. Sweat, on the other hand, is for those who know it's a choice. So decide now, because destiny waits for no man. And when your time comes and a thousand different voices are trying to tell you you're not ready for it, listen instead to that lone voice of dissent. The one that says you are ready, you are prepared. It's all up to you now. So rise and shine. Sorry guys, private party. Hmm. All right. Nope. Let's go. Summer just wouldn't be summer without the refreshing taste of Pepsi. And you're all invited. How's the full party? It just got better. Hey, throw me a Pepsi. The cooler! Introducing new wild cherry and vanilla Pepsi made with real sugar. Real big summer starts with new flavors of Pepsi made with real sugar. Grab some before it gets away. Get the Pepsi!